Watch yourself, I you hear? you money to buy water, and what did you do? How should I know there were scammers? You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. Good night, Aiden. Then why didn't you do it yourself? Because I asked you to. What am I gonna tell my mother now? Forget the following that happened. That's about the only time I smile. And then I see the goddamn UV lights. Barney? What brings you, pal? How's life? Better? Now that the PK finally stopped bothering us. I'm even thinking of starting my own business. I know a bit about weapon design. I could start making and selling them. Sounds good. And, uh, how's Sophie doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's major news. She's the big boss now. <laughs> I'm sure she is. After all that happened, folks finally realized we needed a real leader. I'd say things have turned out the way they always should have been. Well, good for her. And for all of old Villador. I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in old Villador. First, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End. Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man.
Thought I was a goner till you showed. Here. Thank God. Wait, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. 
Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Jack Matt, he told me you work for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? Yeah, that's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. So that's what Daniel was helping you with. Correct. Eliminating him before attacking the Colonel is critical and time sensitive. The Wands part of your plan to attack the Colonel? Yes. I'm going to give the Butcher what he deserves. And this city, it deserves peace, Aiden. I'm sure you agree. The question is whether you'd be willing to help get there. I'll see if I can help, but I really have to get things started with Dr. Ryan. Understood. Good luck, Aiden.
over here. Get me. Good to see you back in business. Are you sure you're all right? I told you to hurry. Well, maybe if you'd given me the heads up instead of ghosting me, we... Oh, stop whining. We've done enough talking for a week. Can we just focus on the job at hand? You see? There weren't that many of them. Looks like they were evacuating the camp. Evacuating? Yeah. I don't know why. That's exactly what one of those scums told me Wait. before he died. Somebody's still here. Demolin? What are you doing here? Please, don't hurt me. I'm not a renegade. What are you doing here? I'm... I was here to talk. Trying to... negotiate. With the butcher's people? Yes, for... well, you see... For whom? Juan sent you? Yes. He... he wants peace. He believes... He believes that Jack Matt is a bigger threat than the Colonel. You must see this as well. I'll make my own judgments. Just try to look beyond the surface. That only works as long as the surface is clear. Does that mean you'll hand me over? Are you going to tell Matt about me? You did nothing wrong. Just trying to follow orders. Just... Just go. Thank you. Thank you. Luan, the camp is empty. Time for the next bastard. L wait, how many people did Jack tell you to liquidate? Jack didn't tell me to do anything. I did what I had to do. The target was spotted near the church south of St. Paul Island. It's one of the butcher's key officers. <laughs> You're always so keen to help me. Why not hit him together? What, you think I'm not up for it? <sighs> Shut up. You can join me, or I'll do it myself. Over and out.
this anymore. Go on. Am I late again, or...? What are you talking about? I'm at the church. Did you get the officer? I haven't been there yet. Why? What are you saying? Nothing. There's no one here. I thought you had something to do with it. <sighs> I'm almost there. Hey, then. Long time no see. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Where is everyone? Renegades were supposed to be here. Along with the officer you came to kill. Lucky bastard. Apparently Williams ordered evacuations of some outposts. Well, apparently? Well, who sent you here then? Waltz? Waltz isn't privy to Williams' directives. You're asking too many questions, Aiden. There will be hell to pay if you keep it up. Eh, fuck you, Hakon. I'm not here because of you. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. I don't want to fight with you, Hakon. Pity. I don't care what you want. I saved your life at the bazaar. Oh, you saved my life. I saved yours. We're even. Whatever you might think, we're not friends. Never were. Now, give me the key. You know I won't do that. Get that fucking key from him! Yeah! 
quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time!
people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian, Frank, Luan. Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Jack? Tango down. Come to the ship, Aiden. Um, listen. Luan sent me to the church to hunt down some officer, but he wasn't there. Hakon was. What? So it's true that he's working with those bastards? He was, but Hakon is dead. And the renegades? I think they're withdrawing. Finally. Williams knows that he's losing. Time to hit him. I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean... I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? <clears throat> I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. Oh, good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. I said shut the fuck up. Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, Luan. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. <laughs> what is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt... You. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! This is bullshit. I can't go! The one, are you okay? I can't believe I blew my chance. Again! Maybe your list isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Fuck you, Aiden. I had him. 
and I let him get away. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, he hits you pretty hard. I... <laughs> Barely touched me. Don't I keep telling you not to worry? Okay, but, but I... I need some time to sort myself out. The one... Wait. Jack. Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the ship. Yeah, about that. Long story short, Hakon wasn't quite as dead as I thought when we last spoke. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The Colonel's forces have been weakened. The time has come to deliver the final blow. Get back to the ship. We'll discuss what to do next. Rainer's men got a huge order. Let me go! I'm innocent! No one, I repeat, no one must know about this. But sir, this is an extremely serious... Of course it is. But this is a private matter. Private? Yeah. Now get the fuck out of here. Uh, Jack? Aiden, glad you're here. I'm sure you'll be meeting Veronica Ryan soon. Thanks to you, we know more about what's going on among the Butcher's troops. There won't be a better time to hit them. So tomorrow, when we attack, <coughs> I shall call on you again. <coughs> Are you okay? You seem, uh... Weak? Is that what you're trying to say? That cough, I mean, the doctor seemed agitated. I'm worried about your health. I'm dying, Aiden. Cancer. Oh, but, but how long before you... Weeks, months, nobody knows. Medicine nowadays. How could anybody know anything, really? I'm... <sighs> I'm so sorry, sir. I don't need pity. I need you to keep doing what you're doing. You know why? Because a man is only worth what he leaves behind. And I want to leave this world a better place. This city, a safer place. You mean without the Colonel? Yes, the Butcher. This, this will be my legacy. <coughs> and that's all I need from you. To help me with that. 
I'm going to meet Veronica. But when the time comes, you can count on me. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you. Nothing left to do here. Get out of my quarters. I had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? 
How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome. And from there, to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock. And I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> the blocker is working. That blocker won't protect you forever. is working. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. How do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once. 
long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator! It stopped! I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Please, don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. my hands here, Veronica. <laughs> Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Don't leave me. Just don't leave me here. Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. Veronica, the power's back. You all right? Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. Are you all right? 
See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake! Can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the Observatory. Then the virus came and that was the end. So what happened here in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation, and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Dark again. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. Or somehow, maybe from the other side. this door. It's a tight fit in here. Veronica, how you holding up? Just want to get to that database. 
and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. I promised I'd help you, right? Okay, I get it. Just hold tight. I'll get there as fast as I can. Thanks. Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... We were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. It's here. It's locked again. <sighs> what now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select emergency unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. But we may have another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. 
Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director. Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. Was it worth it? I mean, did you even come close to a cure? We were close. But the virus... It finally reached the complex. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him, and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me, didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid. Scared. Alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway. We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go. Hope you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait! I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I, I can't stop it. Do something! I think faster. Blockers, I 
still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Uh, any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go, find the control room. Examination procedure ready to begin. Find a way up. Hurry. Control room, upstairs. No! Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. <clears throat> Thank God. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh, no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there. With me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible. I will check my name. Aiden. Aiden. Uh, there's one record? Among the youngest children. Year... 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. I think 
so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. All of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance, uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down, as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? They must be here somewhere. Oh, Renegades. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. But I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. If Frank... If Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. How can I warn them? I got no way to send out an emergency broadcast. I'll try to reach as many as possible. God, shit. Open the fuck up! I just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. You want an autograph?
Hold on. Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica? Talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay. Where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Hey, Veronica? What's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the boss. We're moving. Veronica? Hold on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Veronica, get away! Give fucking key! Give it to me! Just run, I'll stop him. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with Mia? Done with my sister. She's long ago. No. no, I'll kill you. Died years ago. Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. Who 
Just got the key, Luan. <laughs> Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. <sighs> Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're back. Thank God. You really gotta stop doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. And not only that, I'm turning. I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. It was me. <clears throat> there was nothing in the GR. It had the greatest effect. Waltz told me. What if he lied to you? And Mia's a lie. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not. If this transformation is because of Waltz, I'll help you. How? Waltz created the inhibitors. He must know how to. It was that. Come on. Probably another building collapse. Oh my god. <clears throat> the Butcher. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Walt. He used the key. That's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Walt getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be... And Waltz took the key from Veronica. Else... You have to stop him! One. When you feel something happening, I can't stop them alone. <laughs> now you're talking. Jack Matt is looking for you. Go to the ship. He went out to... Aiden? Nobody can know about Veronica. Remember. I know it wasn't you who did that, but Jack, the peacekeepers, they can't. St they won't. 